It's time to throw the caution flag. Okay, maybe that was a kid smock, but you get the point. Looks like we had to grab that again because it looks like last month was just an outlier after all. This was a big month. We won't throw around the word historical, but there are some issues that we need to keep our eyes on and see if this is a trend or maybe a one-off. The decrease in interest rates may just be coming at the right time as the market may be in the midst of needing a little bit of a bailout. And while the single family market is performing better than the condo market, there could be a couple warning signs there as well. If you're looking here about the Massachusetts real estate market for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties, then you're in the right place. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any real estate questions, then know I'm here to help. Thinking about buying a house? Then reach out to find out about our purchase power plan and find out how serious buyers can save thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars by paying by the hour. Let's start with single family homes. In July of 2024, we saw 4,035 single family homes sell for an average sales price of $855,000. Great news from a sales perspective, the 4,035 single family homes that sold July was 10.1% more than last year. We saw 3,664 homes sell. Now, these sales levels have stayed pretty much in line with 2023. Some months were a little below and other months were a little above. But with this month's sales levels, the year-to-date sales in the state of Massachusetts have actually increased to 2.2%. So we've now sold 20,632 units, 20,193 units at this point in 2023. I don't think this is much to be concerned about at this point, but I do think it's worth keeping our eyes on. For I'm happy that the rate of home prices increasing is, well, decreasing. I just don't want it to happen overnight. I want it to be gradual. We recorded a 6.3% year-over-year increase in single-family property values. Again, I like that trend line. Don't want this to correct too fast, which could cause an overcorrection. I want it to be like a plane landing, nice and smooth. 3% is a home appreciation rate of beauty. Now, with seven months down, home prices in Massachusetts are up 7.8% year-over-year. Now, the slight pullbacks continue because we were at 8.8% two months ago, 8.1% last month, and now 7.8% this month. I know buyers don't feel like they're winning right now, but they are when compared to what buyers were going through the last three years. Now, under the yearly sales comparison levels, this month's rebound, it's welcome. As we know, sales levels are up from last year. The 4,035 homes put us in between the sales levels of July 2011 and 2012. Now, loan sales continue not to be great, but that all could be changing very soon with all this talk about tumbling interest rates. Oh, and if that does happen, interest rates go down, then that means sales are going to go up. Then if sales go up, that means we're going to see some big home price gains. So buyers, take note of this news. Now, I've said it before. Sales levels, they're going to continue to bounce around for a while, or at least until rates fall and the economy slightly improves. Now, you can really see how big of a rebound this month is on the positive side when compared to the downside of last month. That's 49 consecutive months of year-over-year -year home price increases. As I've said before, the amount of the home price increasing, it's decreasing. That is the only thing we need to keep our eye on. But if I was a betting man, I would bet that we will hit five consecutive years of home price gains. The only thing standing in the way is inventory. So let's take a look at that. We ended the month with 5,045 single family homes on the market. Year over year inventory levels are up an astounding 39.6% in the single family market. Now these higher inventory levels plus the seasonal market makes it a phenomenal time for value seeker buyers to find the perfect property. I think this graph really does a great job illustrating what this year has been all about on the inventory side. We spent the first four months of the year going toe-to-toe -to -toe with 2023 inventory levels, and now well, we're well above. Then inventory went on a run and has settled right in between the inventory levels of 2021 and 2022. This should be welcome news for homebuyers as we now have 1,464 more single-family homes on the market at the end of July of 2024 than we did at the end of July 2023. 391 fewer houses on the market in July of 2022. New listings were also up year over year. We listed 4,219 single-family homes in Massachusetts in July of 2024. This was 11.6% increase when compared to July 2023. Now, while the pickup in new listing activity is great news, very welcome news actually, it is still far short of the levels that we saw in 2017 through 2022. Price reductions were also up year over year. In July of 2024, we saw a 34.4% increase in price reductions throughout Massachusetts. There were 363 single-family homes that did a price reduction in July. Now, quick recap. So sales in the single-family market were up by 10%, while inventory was up by 40%. 
but the number of new listings were up by 12% when compared to last year's numbers, while we saw a 34% increase in price reductions for June of 2024. All right. But just like that, the historical home price trend, it continues. It looks like last month will be the pricing peak for single family homes in Massachusetts. Do not, I repeat, do not get baited into headlines that say housing prices are down month over month. Always look at year over year data. As we talked about earlier, the $855,000 average sales price means that home prices in Massachusetts are up 6.3% year over year and 7.8% year to date. Now we have the condo market and the multifamily market up next, but first, any chance you can do me a huge favor is it just helps play with that YouTube algorithm. Can you hit that like button right down there? It just makes a huge difference to me as well as my channel. Well, you're enjoying the content. I appreciate you considering subscribing. We saw 1,666 condos close in Massachusetts in the month of July for an average sales price of $735,000. Let's start with the sales data. Sales levels were up by 1.2% year over year. The 1,666 condos sold in Massachusetts for the month of July was compared to the 1,647 units that sold in July of 2023. The little bump in sales volume helped decrease the total year-over-year -year sales level decline. Last month, we were down 5.3% year-over-year. In July, that number actually improved to 3.4%, with 9,461 condos sold compared to the 9,795 in the first seven months of 2023. After two months of year-over-year -year sales declines, this 1% increase helps buck the trend. I think this is just really showing for both the single-family and condo market that sales levels, they really bottomed down. This decrease in interest rates is about to push sales levels in all of the markets. Our sales levels were pretty much on par with July of 2023. We'd have to go back to July of 2012 in order to find another time when sales levels were in the general ballpark of this year's numbers. Now, inventory growth continues for the month of July in the condo market. Now, the 2,722 condos on the market in Massachusetts is 30.7% higher than inventory levels in June of 2023. We're just slightly below the inventory levels of 2021. Again, I see this inventory growth as a short-term enjoyment with buyers if we're actually truly entering a cycle of interest rate cuts. Buyers act quickly. Can you even see the blue line? On the last Monday of July, we had 722 more condos on the market compared to this time back in 2023, 111 more compared to 2022, and 64 more than 2021. The amount of new listings were also up slightly, with 1,822 new condo listings hitting the market. The 77 additional new listings, when compared to July 2023, represents a 4.4% increase in listings in Massachusetts for the month of July. Meanwhile, we saw a 45% increase in the amount of condos that saw price reductions in Massachusetts in July 2024. In the big picture of things, I mean 135 condos are not that many for an entire month. As a year-over-year -year comparison, sales were up 1.2% and new listings, they were up by 4.4% compared to 2023. Meanwhile, inventory was up by 30.7% with the number of price reductions increasing by 45.2% year-over-year. Yes, condo prices were down year-over-year, -year, but I remember in July 2023 saying that I thought this month's data was an outlier. The following months would actually prove us right. So in other words, don't get too caught up in this data. The average sales price of $735,000 was 5.2% lower than the average sales price in July of 2023, was $775,000. This is the first time we've had a year-over-year -year price decrease since June of 2023, when it was a negative 0.23% year-over-year average sale price decline. We'd actually have to go back to January of 2021 to find a time when home price declines were higher than it was in July. At that time, it was a negative 8.5% sales price decline. Again, don't get too invested in these numbers. I'm always going to give you the data, but it's just a little disingenuous because of the time period that July of 2024 is being compared to. Year-to-date, condo prices in Massachusetts dropped by 2.9%. This number was 4.6% in June, so there's no doubt that this month's week data affected the market data as a whole. Now, for the very quick and shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then reach out to me, as it would be an honor to help guide you through the process. Now onto the multifamily market. And the party in the multifamily market, that one continues. Because in July of 2024, we saw 508 multifamily units sell for an average sales price of $949,000. It's been a pretty consistent straight line increase since February in regards to the amount of sales in the multifamily market in Massachusetts. The 508 units sold was a 16.3% increase in the year-over-year -year sales levels for July. This means that year-over-year -year sales levels are now up by 6.8%. The 508 sales level, that was not awful. It kicked last year's you-know-what, while our sales levels put us pretty much exactly on par with July of 2012. It wasn't an awful month for sales in the multifamily market. That's what we need to keep in mind. But 
Inventory continued to grow in the multifamily market. There are currently 768 multifamily properties on the market, which means that inventory levels are up by 95 units or 14.1% year over year. The amount of the additional inventory when compared to 2023 has been pretty consistent over the last couple months. We have 134 more multifamily properties on the market than when compared to 2023 at the end of July. Meanwhile, we listed 10.9% more multifamily properties than we did in 2023. We listed 664 multifamily homes in July of 2024, which is compared to the 601 multifamily homes in July of 2023. And what a month for multifamilies, though. Year over year, the $949,000 was 20.1% higher than the levels we recorded in July of 2023. This chart really puts it all in perspective of how great of a month it was. But even with how great of a month, it still was not the best month of the year. Actually, it really wasn't even close. Multifamily properties pricing is now up by 13.1% for the first seven months of 2024. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs again? It's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell in the next nine or nine days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out a little bit more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a home, then it would be a true pleasure to help them. So I appreciate you passing on my contact information. You can visit YouTubeRealEstateAD.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time.